If you've ever opened Pro Tools and got the missing files dialog box, don't panic. I'm going to show you what to do. Now, you could select automatically find and relink, and this will usually work, but it could take a long time, especially if you have a general idea of where your files might be. Sometimes this happens if we've moved to a different computer, and maybe the directory for some of our samples is not exactly the same folder structure, and so Pro Tools can't find those, but they're still on your computer. So we're going to want to use the option to manually find and relink, and we can click that from here and click OK. But if you've hit skip all or automatically find and relink. I'll show you how to get back to the relinking options from inside the Pro Tools window. So we're going to hit skip for now and click OK. Then we'll go up here to window, new workspace, default. On the left here are the locations like sound libraries, volumes, which are your hard drives. And then we have this project folder, which is the one that we're actively working on. So we're going to click on this project and double click session audio files, which will open up all of the audio files within our session. Then we can right click on any of the missing offline files and go down to relink offline. This will select all of the offline files and bring up the relink window. Now these files I randomly selected from the audio files folder and removed them so that I can do this demo. So I know exactly where they are, but you might have a few missing samples in a massive sample library. So all you would need to do is point Pro Tools to your main samples folder, and then we can let Pro Tools do its thing now that it knows where to search. So I'm going to go into Volumes, Mac HD, Users, My Name, Music, Pro Tools, and Client Projects. So I know that these five files are somewhere within my client's projects folder because I borrowed them from a session. So I'm going to check this box here. I'll come down to my files to relink. I'll click the first one. I'll hit Command A to select all of them, and then I'll hit Find Links. This is going to bring up the linking options window, and by default, Find by name and file ID is going to give you the most accurate results because if these two things match, your files are definitely the ones that you're looking for. But if for some reason the file ID is changed, it might not find your files. So in that case, you can select just find by name. I'm going to leave it as is and hit OK. And it's found our files. And we can see that because it has these little links on the side here. Then you're just going to go up to commit links, hit yes. And we can see that the files that used to be missing are now present in our session and we're good to go.